In this video, we're going to look at the average ifs function. Average ifs is a really useful function that works in the same way as other ifs functions, such as sum ifs and count ifs, and it's a great one to have in your toolkit. So we've got a small set of data here. It's just a list of merchandise, hats and t-shirts in different colors and in different sizes with their quantity as well. And let's say we wanted to look at the average quantity of hats that are in size medium. And to do this, we can use an average ifs formula. So equals average ifs, just tab. Now, first of all, you have to select the average range, which is where your numerical values are. So that's the quantity set of data. Then criteria range one. So we're interested in hats. So we're going to highlight all these cells. And then we're going to specify our criteria one, which is going to be hat. And then we have our criteria range two. And for this, we're going to select these cells where the size information is. And then we're going to specify what our criteria two is. And we're interested in the hats that are in size medium. So we'll write out medium. And you could also click on cells that have these um, criteria already in. Um, but here we're just writing them out instead. And then you just close this off, hit enter, and we get 293. So what that has done is it's looked in this column here, and then it's identified the cells that have hat in, and then it's also looked across to this column here and identified the cells that have medium in, and then it's taking an average of this cell here and this cell here. And if we were to just do a simple average uh, function and select this one here and this one here, we get 293, which is the exact same number because it works in the same way. So obviously this is more useful when you've got a bigger data set, but hopefully that illustrates how the average ifs function works and how it can be really useful. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.